here. Um, just so you guys know, in the room, please don't freak out. Relax. I want you guys to be relaxed and easygoing. I am. Um, but sometimes some of the statements you make, they seem overly aggressive. So please try not to, to do that. Because it, everything that I do here is not emotionally based. And uh, if we miss 100 trees, you know, I'm, it, at the end of the year, tell me how I did. But don't, you know, freak out about every little trade or every little instance. We'll work out all of this, and it's going to be great. And I'm not just saying it like I'm Trump. I, I mean what I'm saying. So we'll get there. Um, now, the limitation with the one hour and so forth, i got to figure out how to overcome that. Because if you get a fast market where prices are moving very quickly, uh, even if I do a segmented order where I put in bunches of levels, if prices give me opportunity or something shows up within that one hour, which can happen, um, I have to be able to take advantage of it. So there has to be a higher limit beyond that one hour restriction. I don't understand why that's in place other than the fact that to protect users, which makes sense. But anyway, let's get back to talking about the market and the key levels that we're looking at here. Now, statistically, from this point in time that I've marked right here, we're likely to go up to this level up here, this uh, 39 at the very least, and then continuation upward to the 4300. Um, if you noticed, like on Binance and so forth, I've had orders already for that number. Well, that would be now on the BitMEX side. And, um, you know, so this becomes a time value proposition, not so much price. Now, if we look at prices that I am interested in, let's draw a line here. We're going to look a little bit longer term. I want to be a buyer under there if I have to scale. If I don't have to scale here, fantastic. Um, then there and then I'm going to look for resistance above this point, which honestly, the this 300 number is now weakened. Um, statistically, uh, it's not so strong anymore. So I could even look for higher numbers um, that go past this. But I'm not going to predict the future. That's not what we do. Uh, mathematically, this is sound to the upside uh, right from this time that you see me entering these orders. Um, so we're going to see what happens here. It's going to be interesting. Oops. Using trading view, it's kind of a pain. Um, but anyway, that's where we are. So these are the key levels of 4,300 and 36. Other than that, as you can see, we've just drifted sideways, even beyond these little spikes and so forth. We haven't really gone here or up to there. It's just been sideways. It just sucks. So that's an update for you. I'm looking for a break of here or a break of there, period. Everything inside here right now is no value. If we go back on the charts here, when we see the previous zones that I, I pointed out, um, uh, we've gone into support to a minor degree, but we've not really cycled through. So there's no real um, impetus for us to move one way or the other, other than the time factor. The time factor right now, um, and this is where it goes into my algos and uh, part of the uh, math that I use, uh, is advantageous to for us on the long side. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And I'd be looking for this level up here. Um, or if we break down here, I'll be a buyer under the 3600 range. And and I'll try to figure out how we can get those orders to be you know completely resolved so we don't have that issue. I got that marked down just so you're aware. And try to be nice to me. Don't be aggressive. You know, <laughs> I know I'm a dick sometimes, but you know, I, I'm I'm everything that happens here. And we'll have live accounts connected so you can see it. You know, happens to me, happens to you. So whatever happens to you happens to me. So we're on the same side. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.